हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल जिम्स ऑफ नॉलेज सो आई एम हियर विद अ वीडियो ऑन फैक्टराइज फ्रॉम द चैप्टर पॉलिनोमियल्स दैट इज एक्सरसाइज 4.5 दिस इज द कंटिन्यूएशन वीडियो ओके सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो मेक श्योर टू सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल एंड ऑल्सो क्लिक ऑन द बेल बटन टू गेट द नोटिफिकेशन एज सुन एज आई पोस्ट माई न्यू वीडियोज सो हियर यू कैन सी द फिफ्थ क्वेश्चन इज गिवन विच इज सेट एज फोर एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस नाइन वाई स्क्वायर प्लस सिक्सटीन जेड स्क्वायर प्लस ट्वेल्व एक्स वाई माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर वाई जेड माइनस सिक्सटीन जेड एक्स सो यू हैव टू फैक्टराइज दिस सो बाय सीइंग द क्वेश्चन ओनली यू हैव टू स्टार्ट थिंकिंग हाउ कैन यू फैक्टराइज दिस सो व्हाट ऑल थिंग्स आर गिवन हियर x स्क्वायर इज गिवन y स्क्वायर इज गिवन z स्क्वायर इज गिवन एंड द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ एक्स वाई वाई जेड एंड जेड एक्स इट मीन्स द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ एक्स वाई वाई जेड एंड जेड एक्स इज गिवन ओके सो विच फॉर्मूला विल सूट हियर सो यू हैव टू चेक फॉर द फॉर्मूला फर्स्ट विच फॉर्मूला इज गोइंग टू सूट हियर सो आई थिंक यू हैव गॉन थ्रू ऑल द आइडेंटिटीज एंड यू ऑल्सो वेंट थ्रू द फिफ्थ आइडेंटिटी विच स्टेट्स दैट एक्स स्क्वायर इट इज रिटर्न एज x plus y plus z whole square. This is the identity, okay? Which will be equals to x square plus y square plus z square plus two x y plus two y z plus two z x. Okay, so this is the identity. So this part of the identity, the right part of the identity, is given here in this form. So just you can see, it can be written as four x square is given. So this complete term is your x square. It should be your x square. So how can you maintain this as your x square instead of writing four? You can write this as two x whole square. Okay, when you multiply whole square, two square will be four, and x square will be x square itself. Okay, plus instead of y now, y is given as nine y square. So this nine also you have to make into the form of y now. It can be written as three y whole square. Okay, if it is three y whole square, if the three square is done, then it will be definitely nine, and y square will be as it is, plus. Z square is here sixteen Z square, so it can be four Z whole square. Okay, plus then you can see here two is given. That two will be as it is. What is our x now? X is we got it as two x. X we got it as two x, and y we got it as three y. Okay. So when you just multiply this, two two is a four, four three is a twelve. You got twelve, and x into y will be x y. Okay. Then coming to the next, in the formula you can see two. Okay. Then y is given. What is y? Y is nothing but three y. And z is given. What is z? Z is nothing but four z. Okay. So if you multiply this two three is a six six four is a twenty four you got twenty four y z you got okay but here you got one minus sign okay so you can see you can put minus to any of these two numbers so it means either y is minus or either z is minus okay so here two terms are given okay one one is y and one is z but in the formula we are having it to be as plus but here into the question we are having it minus it means either your y is minus or your z is minus okay so before putting that next move on to the before putting minus to any of these two numbers we'll just move on to the next number next number is plus okay 2 into zx so 2 we have written what is z value z value is nothing but 4z okay z value is nothing but 4z and x value is nothing but 2x okay now you can see here here also it is minus and here also it is minus both the side it is minus so here x and z is remaining okay the product terms are x and z and here it is y and z so because of z we are getting the minus sign not because of x because if x is minus y is not minus okay here it is not minus okay so we can say that both the side z is given so it means your z value must be minus so here we will write this is minus 4z whole square after squaring it we are going to get positive z square only 
minus 4 into minus 4 we are getting plus 16 only z square will be z square but when we are multiplying here here we are getting it to be as minus it must be minus 4z and here it must be minus 4z so get so that plus into minus we are getting minus here also plus into minus we are getting minus okay so next you can see by this whole term you can write this term what is your x x is nothing but 2x plus what is our y y is 3y plus what is our z you can see z is minus 4z whole square okay you can leave the answer up to this only or you can split this term like uh, this is two times it means you can write it as 2x plus 3y minus 4z into 2x plus 3y minus 4z you can also write it into this way okay okay now moving to the second question you can see the second question also is given in the same format that is 2x square plus y square plus 8z square minus 2 into root 2xy so when you get here root 2 you have to identify that somewhere in between all these three terms there must be root 2 okay then plus 4 root 2yz minus 8xz okay so now let us start with the formula let us write the formula first what is the formula x plus y plus z whole square which will be equals to x square plus y square plus z square plus 2xy plus 2yz plus 2zx okay so this is the formula so according to the formula it should be x square so here how can we make this 2 as x square so if we write 2 root 2 into x whole square it will be 2x square how it is possible this 2 and this root will be cancelled it will become 2 okay it is like this you can see and x square x square will be as it is this 2 and this root will be cancelled you are going to left with 2 root 2 sorry 2 x square okay so the answer will be 2 x square plus y square it is not having any number so let it be as it is plus z square is given as 8 how can you make this 8 so 8 can be written as 4 to the 8 you know this this can be written as 4 into 2 okay this 4 can be written as when it comes to the root it can be written as 2 okay when you put the root to this terms it will be 2 root 2 okay this will become 2 and this root 2 will be as it is so when you put a square to this number you are going to get 2 to the 4 you are going to get and this root and the square will be cancelled and you are left with 2 so that you are getting 4 to the 8 so what terms uh, z will be having z is having 2 root 2 and z whole square okay 2 root 2 when you square it you are going to get 8 minus this 2 is already given which is formulas okay 2 and x is given as root 2 okay x is your root 2 and what is y y is nothing but y itself y is nothing but y itself so this is what given here okay sorry x i forgot to write here okay this is x root 2 x this 2 is formulas which is given here this 2 is a formula this root 2 x is of x term and this y is of y term okay plus then 4 is given 4 can be written as 2 is of formulas and one more 2 is given 2 root 2 z it is of z term and y is simply written like this only okay then then you can see the very last term over here okay so see here here it is formulas plus will be there so the term is minus so it means any one term will be having a minus here either your x is minus or your y is minus okay we'll find out here you can see x and y is given it means any one among this is negative 
बट हियर वाई इज गिवन विच इज पॉजिटिव इट मीन्स यूर एक्स मस्ट बी नेगेटिव यू कैन सी हियर एक्स इज नेगेटिव वेन द एक्स टर्म्स आर कमिंग यूर एक्स इज नेगेटिव हियर ऑल्सो एक्स इज नेगेटिव सो यू कैन राइट दिस टू बी एज लाइक दिस सो दैट्स माइनस इन टू माइनस विल बिकम प्लस ओके देन टू इंटू टू रूट जेड ओके दिस इज द सेकेंड टर्म विच वी गॉट हियर देन द थर्ड टर्म यू कैन सी माइनस इज गिवन सो लेट इज राइट प्लस एंड माइनस विल टेक इन साइड ओके एंड दिस विल बी टू विच इज फॉर्मूलाज टू वॉट इज जेड वैल्यू जेड वैल्यू इज नथिंग बट टू रूट टू ओके टू रूट टू इज फॉर्मूलाज वैल्यू टू रूट टू जेड इज फॉर्मूलाज एंड एक्स इज गिवन ओके x is given x is given means what is x value x is minus root 2 x is we should not put the minus here x is root 2 x okay so it will become okay so the last step will be this three terms must be written which is written as minus root 2 x plus y plus 2 root 2 z will be whole square either you can keep this term as it is or you can write it in this form that is like this minus root 2x plus y plus 2 root 2z into again minus root 2x plus y plus 2 root 2z okay either you can keep it as it is or either you can open it and keep it like this only okay that's all for today in this video so in my next video we'll solve the sixth question which is related to this exercise so till then stay tuned and stay connected don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you